So the game I'm playing today is called Patrick's Parabox. This is a really strange puzzle game that deals with the concept of recursion. Or in other words, it's a puzzle game that involves inserting a bunch of boxes into one another, and theoretically you can do this an infinite number of times. And needless to say, things get really weird incredibly quickly. I don't really know that much else about the game beyond that though, because I have not played this off screen at all. I do know that this is more of a Sokoban style puzzler, so a lot of the puzzles in this game revolve pushing the boxes around, but apparently you can actually push boxes into each other, as in you can actually fit them inside one another, and this is useful for some of the later puzzles, supposedly. This game has been in development for quite a while. It was originally announced a few years ago, I believe, and I have actually known about this game for a while, but I had assumed it had already been released, but apparently it wasn't. As a matter of fact, Patrick's Parabox only came out about four days ago at the time that I'm recording this video, so this is a very recent release. And already, this game has been gaining quite a bit of attention. It already has about 300 reviews on Steam, the user score is 99%, and needless to say, this game is quickly becoming one of the surprise indie breakout hits of 2022. If you're wondering why the game is called Patrick's Parabox, the title of the game is a reference to the game's developer. Uh, the game's developer is Patrick Trainer, and I believe he was the only person who worked on this game as well. The music in this game, and I think the sound effects as well, well I don't, I don't know about the sound effects, but I believe the music in this game was composed by Priscilla Snow, and I believe she also composed the soundtracks for some of Draknex games, including A Good Snowman is Hard to Build, and I think Sokobond as well? So yeah, I have no idea what exactly this game is. I mean, even though I have known about the game for a while, because I think I first got a hold of this game, or I caught wind of this game, as it were, when it was initially announced, which would have been like, I think at least three years ago at this point. But I didn't exactly know what the game was, because the game hasn't even been playable up until, like, just a few days ago. And this is one of the pricier indie games as well, because this game actually costs, like, $20. So, we're gonna see if that asking price is worth it, and I guess we are just going to get started right away then, so... Uh, I can already tell you guys that I'm not gonna be beating the entire game today. Apparently, this game has about 350 levels, so needless to say, I'm not gonna be playing through every single one of them, because that's gonna take way too freaking long. So maybe a better idea would be to play through, I don't know, maybe one-tenth of the levels instead? I don't know, let's go into- let's go into- into here. Okay, I guess we're just beginning immediately. Okay, so what exactly are we doing? There, the yellow box. Okay, so you can move around with the arrow keys. It seems like the WASD keys work as well. It already seems like it's a Sokoban style puzzler because the movement appears to be grid based. Okay, so you push the, you push the block into the, the hole, the square hole, and you go in here. And I guess that's it for that puzzle. Okay, so maybe some of the maybe some of the first few puzzles are going to involve like a, okay reset puzzle with R. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that maybe some of the early puzzles just involve moving boxes into specific locations. But I imagine that, uh, it, it's probably going to introduce the mechanic where you can actually go inside boxes, I would imagine. Because I do believe it is possible to fit yourself inside some of the boxes. That is what I saw in the game's trailer, and that- that's also what I saw in, uh, some of the- some of the preview screenshots for this game when it was still in development. Okay, so let's go into this box now, I guess? Okay, you can also redo- oh, you can undo a reset. Wait, can you really? Oh wait, no, what am I doing? I'm pressing X to redo, Z to undo. Okay, wait. You can undo a reset. Oh yeah, you actually can, because I snap back up to here. Okay, that's interesting. So, oh god, what are we, what are we doing about this? Okay, we fit the box into this box. Okay, we can go inside the tiny box as well. Okay, we can shrink ourselves down. Oh god, the other box gets larger. Oh, okay. And then we can move this other box. Oh, and then we can go inside the box in order to get out, exit to the left, and then that's that's the end of that level. Okay, okay. 
I get it. Okay, so I guess there's a very specific way that we have to, like, enter the box. There we go. Okay, I see. I see what exactly is going on here. Uh, oh god, wait a second. Can I go in here and then go out the left side? Okay, yeah. Oh, maybe I can only enter the box when I'm moving it up against a wall. Maybe that's what I can do. Or, like, maybe that's the only thing I can do. That kind of seems like that's how it behaves. Because when I push it up against the wall, then I can actually go inside the box. Okay, I think I, I see what I, I need to do here. Uh, wait, I, I might have to push it up again. Because then I go out here, move it over here. That seems, okay, yeah, that does seem correct. That does seem correct, because that is where it had to go. Uh, oh my god, okay, so... Oh yeah, this yellow box is not gonna go inside the blue one unless I push this up against the wall first. Yeah. Oh, alright. Oh, and I can't even move it anymore now, okay, hang on a second, we gotta reset that. So what if I were to put this here and then maybe go around the other side? Because then wouldn't I just have to, like, do that and then... Oh yeah, just just like that, actually. There we go. Just go the, go the other way around. Ooh, okay, so I have to put the box inside the other box, because I'm noticing that little, uh... Oh god, we can't do it like that, though. Hold on a second. Oh, but we can do it like this. We can go around the other way. There we go. Okay, we put it inside inside that box, and then we can leave. Oh god, this is gonna get confusing very quickly, I feel. Oh, I have to actually go inside the box. Oh yeah, that's my, that's my, like, uh... That's, like, where the exit is located. Okay, so... Let's do this then. Da, da, da. Well, actually, maybe I can push it in here first, and then I can just push it back out. There we go, kind of like that. Okay, well, it's 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 easy to understand at least. The concept itself is like very simple to understand. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I cleared I cleared all those levels. Very good. So I guess that's it for like the first world. Yeah, it seems like that's that's what it is. Okay, enter. I'm guessing that's what this world is called. Enter? What, what exactly is this? Oh, these are just these are just tool tips. These are some general puzzle solving tips that I find useful. You can also access these at any time in the menu under extras tips. Okay, what what exactly are like the hints here? Undo, redo, and reset are useful tools. Don't be afraid to use them often. It can be helpful to imagine how the puzzle would look when solved and work backwards from there. Figuring out things that don't work can be helpful to narrow down your options. I mean, that's literally what I do whenever I cover puzzle games on my channel. That is literally what I do 100% of the time. Trying a different puzzle and coming back later can give you a fresh view if you're stuck. The puzzles are meant to be challenging, there's no expectation of solving them quickly. Alright. Well, I'm not expecting them to, to, to be solved quickly. Or I'm not expecting myself to solve them quickly, which, I mean, it's not exactly good for the length of the video, because I don't want these videos to drag on forever, of course, but... We'll, we'll, we'll try some of these puzzles out, okay? We'll, we'll try them out. Okay, so what, what, what should I be doing with this one, though? I'm not entirely sure. It, there's, like, a box that I can enter, it seems. Yeah, so it seems like these, these little boxes that are, that are, like, hollow... I can enter those boxes, but only when I'm pushing them up against a wall, it seems. Okay, so in that case, what if I were to put you in here? Put you in here. Okay, well, well, hang on a second. How am I gonna... Oh, wait a second. I don't think I use this box uh, to place on the switch. No, because there's only one switch here, actually. Oh, okay, that's, th that's fine then. That's fine. Okay, so then... Maybe that's what I have to do, actually. Maybe I have to, like, insert the blue box into the orange one first? Uh, okay, well, hang on a second. I think I see one way that I can solve this one. Maybe I put that in the corner and then bring this down? Yeah, because I'd, I'd have to push it into here. And then I can push it back out like this, just go the other way around. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I can, I can like, carry it in there. Oh, wait a minute. This is a different shape. And I actually have to go in there to finish the level. Um, hmm. So, okay, well, then, hang on a second. I think I should place this on the left, because that's, I can only enter this from the right side of the box. Okay, I think, I think I see what this one is about. Yeah, that seems fairly straightforward. I think so. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, I have to enter inside the box again. Okay, but what is- what exactly is going on here now, though? Wait, the switches are inside these- this little box right here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I- I see what I can do with this. I can see- I see what I can do about this. Couldn't I place that in there? Okay, but wait a second. Oh god, it's making me even tinier. I'm even tinier now. Okay, but... That's activated. But I feel like that also technically made another switch. So could I push this in here? And then I can go inside. I think this is activated. Oh, okay. Oh god, this is gonna get very confusing, I feel. You just put more boxes into the boxes, and you become smaller and smaller. Um, wait, what is this red one? Why does this have a red outline? Uh, this is already on a switch? I feel like... Maybe it shouldn't. Er, uh, mm. uh, 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 oh. Uh, hey, let me think about it. Let me think about it for a second. No, there's no way I can, I can, I can move it upwards. Yeah, this box is already on a switch. Okay, so... the And then... Hmm. Okay, wait a second. Hold on a minute here. Yeah, I can't push this over the, uh, over the exit point, because I have to place myself on that. So, there's a way that I could do this, like that, yeah, and then, oh wait a second, I think, I think I actually see it, I think I already figured it out, cause then can I just push it like this up here and then I can leave, right? Yeah, that seems simple enough, okay. That was one of the challenge puzzles apparently, oh okay, so that's probably what those are, these are challenge puzzles. Okay, well, that was a fairly simple challenge puzzle, though. Alright, but I imagine they're not all gonna be that simple. Oh god, okay, so... Square needs to go into into here, definitely. Okay, but I'm thinking... Uh... What do I do with this square up here? It doesn't seem like I can, I can move this square anywhere, actually. Unless... Put it like that. Well, actually, no, you, you you can't push this anywhere. You can only push it up, up top like this. Okay, so then... I mean, I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm supposed to do right here, but the only thing is that I can only... I've already established that you can only enter these, these boxes, these, like, hollow boxes, when you're pushing them up against a wall. And that does activate that, that like, little switch inside the box, because I need to push that blue square along, but then... How do I get it back down over here, is the question. How exactly am I gonna do that? You can't do it like that, because that's not gonna work. Yeah, see, because that switch, that switch inside the box needs to be activated as well. But what can I do with this box? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We push it up against the blue square. Yes. And then we can do that. We can then push it onto that switch. There we go. Oh, we can also zoom in and out as well, with, well, with left click. Okay, uh, wait, zoom in and out with left click. It doesn't, s wait, is, that doesn't appear to be working? No, I am hitting left click, but that does not appear to be doing anything. I'm pretty sure I'm not hitting the wrong part of my mouse either, because it clearly seems like the left mouse button is highlighted. Um... Well, in that- uh, hang on a second. There's something that I need to- to- to activate inside this- inside this square again. Let- let me- let me see if I can do that. There we go. Uh, and then, um... Hang on a second. Yeah, I just realized that presents a problem because I think this square also needs to be on a switch. Yeah, we can- we can enter inside this one. It's pretty- pretty spacious in here. Um, but what exactly do we do? Oh, we can... Uh, okay, well, I guess that makes sense. We can we can still uh, push it in, even though it's on its side like that. Okay, I guess that that, that makes sense, but... Uh, okay, well, I, I have an idea as to what I would like to try and do here. But I don't exactly know if it's gonna work out. Yeah, that's that was my idea. But the only problem now is that I can't I can't push it back out. So what exactly would I want to do here? Unless 
Okay, well, I mean, I can fit both of them inside, but I'm pretty sure that's not what I'm supposed to do. I mean, my initial thought was to move the green square into, yeah, the, the, le the left switch first, and then I could try and activate this somehow, but the only thing is that it's gonna... Yeah, if I do it like that, though, it's gonna it's gonna end up getting stuck. And I can't just push the orange box up against the green one, because, yeah, while that does work, the only issue is that I, I wouldn't be able to move the, the green box down, because that would get stuck, because it's all the way at the top. Yeah, that definitely... Yeah, that, that's definitely not gonna work like that. Well, actually, hang on a second. I think there's a way that I can get this unstuck once I do this, because maybe I have to hit it from this corner. Oh yeah, here we go. Because then I can push it back down, move it out, and then place it back onto... Yeah, onto the switch, and then I can leave. Okay. Yeah, it's just I wasn't hitting it from the correct corner, I think. Um, why do these have... Oh, th these probably have white squares on them because I haven't actually completed them yet, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, let's 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 keep moving on then. What in the world is going on here? Oh god. Oh lord have mercy. Okay, there's a lot of boxes here. A lot of tinier boxes inside tinier boxes. So move into this one. Uh move again down into this one. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm gonna assume. I have to push this out here, this way. This is probably the one that I have to use in order to uh, activate that switch, I would imagine. Like that one right there. Okay, yeah, that seems simple enough. Okay. I guess I guess it's giving me like a little taste as to just how insane the game's gonna get later on. Okay. Uh, what about these blue levels right here? I'm sorry, there's... I have clones of myself, apparently. Oh, God. Oh, this is weird. Oh, that is so bloody weird. Oh, God. Achievement unlocked recurse. Oh, God. I'm just creating clones of myself. Just multiple clones of myself. Multiple carbon copies. They're all just escaping out into the void. What in the world? Okay, can you move this along, please? There we go. Oh, God. Okay, wait. Come out the other way? And just just move it up? Oh, and then I think I can go, like, out this way, and then I can move it. Okay, there we go. And then we can leave. Okay, well, that was not actually a difficult level, but it's like, God, that is trippy, dude. There's an entire copy of the level inside the level. And within that copy of the level is also, like, a, a clone of myself, essentially. Oh, that's so... that's trippy. That is freaking trippy. Okay, wait, can I... I, I feel like I messed something up here. Uh... oh god, wait, I'm, I'm at the top all of a sudden. Because I'm, like, trying to focus on what's inside the little box, but I keep forgetting that... Yeah, I also... I also exit out of it. Like, there's a different version of myself that exits out of the box. Oh god, that is tripping me up, man. That is tripping me up so much. What happens if I move this out? Oh yeah, it's just, it's just recursion. It's just recursion. There we go, just, just a bunch of infinite Mias here, as you can see. A bunch of infinite boxes, too. Okay, well then, what do I actually want to do with this box? What if I want to move you back in, somehow? Wait, or do I want to move you back in? Or do I want to move you out? Oh my god, what is happening? My brain is, is already malfunctioning. Okay, well, the only problem is that I can't move you anymore. Unless, what happens if I... Okay, I'm out here all of a sudden. Well, I guess that works just as well. We we made it. Oh my god, okay, that is weird. I think what's really tripping me up is that I'm trying to focus on what's going on inside the tinier box, while not focusing at all on what's going on, like, inside the, the main box here. And it's like, it's, it's messing with my brain. Because if I... Yeah, wh where is this gonna go? I come out the other side. I come out the tinier box. Like, if I try to leave this box over here, the big box... Yeah, I come out of the tiny box. It's like a copy of myself. Oh my god, that is so freaking weird. Okay, well, where do I... where do I actually want to move this? I feel like... I don't exactly know where I want to move this, actually. Hang on a second. Well, I can move this down in. Like that. Okay, that's just blocking off the entrance. Or, or uh, uh, blocking off the exit, rather. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, I see what I can do here. Because I can place the blue box right next to the switch. 
I can move the yellow one out and it'll activate the switch. Yeah. Okay, but he only- okay, well, hang on a second, there's a problem. Because I can't leave anymore. If I just push this down again. Oh wait, no, that's gonna be fine, because I can just leave the big box and I'll come out- I'll come out there. At the end. The exit. Okay. Oh my god, this is- wow, this is- this is actually really damn cool, dude. This is really freaking cool so far. Yeah, because I guess the- the big box that I'm in also has an exit. Okay. And use that to my advantage. Also, it, it does cause the background to scroll as well, I noticed. Yeah, there's there's my bigger self pushing the box around. Where do I want to put this exactly? I don't really know. Well, not, not there, because that's not going to lead to anywhere. Not only that, but I also can't escape now all of a sudden. Okay, so let me... Let me think about this. Oh, I need to somehow push this, this tiny box onto... Uh, th this switch over here. Okay, so let me let me think about this then. Let me think about this. What if I were to leave? Where would that take me? Oh, it doesn't actually take me anywhere because I think it's blocked off. Oh yeah, it, ac it actually is blocked off. Okay, it's not going to be blocked off right here though because what I can do is I can come out here and then I can move it back onto... Oh wait, no, I can't move it back. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Well, where am I gonna come out? Oh, I've just come out back here. Okay, wait. What if I push it in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just push it in there for a minute. Okay, wait, no. I, I just came out the other way. Um, oh god, wait a second. This is... Okay, this one's a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. Because I... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I have to go back up, come out here, and then I can move the box onto the switch, and then I can leave. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. I think that was actually five levels, but we can move on to the next stage, I believe. Or I guess the next world, technically. I mean, I don't know, do I want to try and play some more of the challenge levels? I mean, I guess I don't have to, I could come back to these at a later time, but like, what is what is this one, for instance? Okay, actually, I, I do I already see the solution to this? Wouldn't it just be like, put that there? No, uh, it's not that simple, because I actually can't turn like that. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Thinking too far ahead here. Uh, you, you put... Actually, wait. No, I can't... No, I can't put this box inside. Well, I can go inside the box, but that's not gonna lead me anywhere. Okay, what if I... What if I tried putting it at the, the top instead? Would that work? I mean, like this? And then I think I could push it upwards... Yeah, I feel like this would work though. I have to push it. I have to push it into the top, and then I can I can push it onto that switch. Yeah, there we go. That was simple enough. Okay, well I think just to maintain the pace of the video, I'm actually gonna enter the next world for now. This one is just called Empty. Yeah, I think in order to maintain the pace of this video, I am just gonna go to the next world for now. I'll probably come back to some of the other levels off screen. Yeah, so we're just we're just gonna leave that alone for now. What is empty? Let's see what this is about. Oh, I'm orange now all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Those are empty boxes. They're completely hollowed out, I guess. Yeah, they are. Okay, well, what exactly do I do with these boxes? Uh, probably the other way, if I had to guess? Yeah, I can push that along. Okay, wait a second. Let me do this th the smart way. There we go. Like that. Very nice indeed. Okay. So, there's an- Okay, there's another empty box. Oh my god, it's another one of these- These silly boxes again. Well, I mean, I can push it inside. Oh, but there there's no boundaries to this box, technically. So, oh, this is not actually gonna work like this, because it's just gonna leave. It's just gonna leave the box again. Actually, wait a second. Can I put the empty box inside- Oh yeah. Oh god, why does it why does it squish the other box down again? What is that all about? Oh god, I made a weird thing there that I'm not comfortable with. Let's 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 not do that. Let's try let's try a different approach. Okay, so what if we were to wait, hang on a second. No, that's that's gonna get me stuck. I probably should not do that. Let me try something out here. Cause wouldn't I just be able to push that in like that? But then I can move it back out though. Because there's no boundaries to these boxes, apparently. Okay, yeah, that, that's simple as that. Uh, oh my god, what is going on here? There's- are there two boxes inside? Oh no, that's- that's a switch. Okay. 
Ooh, how do I activate that switch? There's no other box here. Wait, maybe I have to I have to bring this out? Oh, and maybe I need to push this one in. Yeah, okay. I have to use the other empty box in, in order to put it onto that switch. Okay. Shrink it down and put it inside the box. That time it actually needed to go inside. Okay, well, I need to go inside this box this time in order to finish the level. So, I'm... Well, hang on. These are both empty, so I think it's just gonna push it into the other one. Yeah, it will. Ooh, okay. So, let me think about this then. Maybe not like this. Or maybe like this, actually, because then I can just push it back out, can't I? There we go. Seems seems pretty simple and straightforward, at least for, for those few levels there. Okay. Yeah, that's not so bad. God, there seems to be a lot of branching paths here, but I guess I'll try this one next. Oh, no. Uh, so, I think... Gotta put, I gotta put at least one, one box inside here. Is it... I don't know if it's this one necessarily, but I mean, it could work. It could work. Oh, but do I do I then need to put the other box inside? Oh lord, wait a minute. What are we what are we doing about this here? What are we doing about this? Maybe? I think this could work? Hang on a second. Cause wouldn't I let, let me think about this, because I, I could probably do something like this where I place the the green one into the orange one, and then I can just move the orange one back out onto this switch. And then the blue box onto that switch, and I think that's it? Yeah, okay. There we go. My god, this is just trippy as frick, man. Boxception. Boxes inside boxes, and they all, like, shrink down to, like, the size of an atom when you just add more and more in. Okay, well then, what, what in the world is going on here? What if I leave? Oh, there's four boxes. I'm guessing this one goes here. Oh, wait a minute. No, because then I'd have to turn around somehow. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on a sec. I, I want to restart that for a minute. Yeah, put it up. Put this first one up here. Oh, but then I can't I can't go back on I can't move back in unless Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me I think there's a there's a smarter way to do this. Do something along the lines of this? Yeah, like I actually I think I did it. Was that correct? Yeah, I guess it was. Okay. I had to move uh, all the boxes out first, and then I can I can leave the empty box. I'm pretty sure that's what I was doing wrong. Okay, let's try let's try this level then. In that case, oh god, there's another copy of myself here. Uh, I wait. I can push it out into the void. Achievement unlocked. Infinity. Oh my god. Wait, I'm actually in in space. How did I do this exactly? I'm in space. Oh, that has infinity labeled on it. Okay, wait, put it put it back inside. Oh god, why can't I put it back inside? Can I can I go back out? Can I go back in? Oh no, I can't. I'm I'm lost in the void. I'm lost in the void. I just completely broke space time. Well, <laughs> move the other cube out then in that case or the other box. Yeah, the other box goes goes out here as well. But I guess that's not the way I'm actually supposed to solve that. So perhaps what I could do here is like, go out here, first and foremost, and then this, and wait a second, I can push this out again, and maybe, like, move it right there? Okay, yeah, I guess that's it for that level. Okay, well, I mean, we can already go on to the next world, actually. We only need to beat seven of them. Well, I guess we could at least try one of the challenge levels here while we're in the, the, the third world. So... Uh, ooh, that's, okay, it's not gonna be that simple, though, because this is gonna, this is gonna be pushed around again. I wonder if, perhaps, would this actually work, I wonder? Yeah, you just push it in. Well, well, no, then, then I'm not gonna be able to push it out again like that, it's actually gonna get stuck. Okay, wait, hang on, I, I might have found a way to do this correctly. What if I were to, I don't know, like, maybe push this up here first? I don't know, let me, let me just try something here. Let me just try something. Because, I mean, I can I can push this into here and push it back out. Wait, that's going to push this along, though. That's the only problem. Okay, well, hang on. Push that in there. Maybe push that in there just for now. And then, like, what if I were to move that back out? And then... Oh, this might actually be what I have to do. Okay, wait. 
What if- okay, push it up against this wall again, and maybe I can add the other cube, or the other box, I should say, into it. And then I'm thinking, like, I can push it back out, and, like, maybe put it right here, perhaps? Okay, I mean, that could work in theory, but the only problem is that I want this box to not be in the way of the other one. Yeah, see, that's that's the only problem with that plan. Okay, well, in that case, what if I just push it off to the side like that? Just so that it won't be in the way? Because then I think what I could do is... Like, move this out here. And put that... Yeah, put that over that way. And then push this out. There we go. Like, they're all activated. And I can just leave the box. Because there's no boundaries to the box. There we go. Okay, well, that's cool and all. What is the fourth level called? This is called Eat. I am terrified at what this entails. Oh god, okay, th there's a box that needs to go in, but I also need to enter this box as well to finish the level. Okay, well, my first idea was to do this, but then the only problem is that there's no way for me to then enter it, so... Unless, if I do this... Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. And push, push it up against the wall... Like, push it up against the other yellow box, and then the yellow block- the yellow box will enter the blue one, and then I can just enter from the other side. Oh boy, seems like I need to get all of the boxes in? Oh yeah, I need to get- I need to move all- all four of these yellow boxes inside the blue box now, actually. Um, how in the world am I gonna do that? Oh, actually, wait. I know exactly how I'm gonna do that. By doing something like this, I think? Yeah, okay. I guess it has to go down to the bottom right corner at the end, because I have to put the boxes right right next to all the entrances and then just move them accordingly. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, wait. I think I m might see what I would like to do here. Do I have to line them up? I probably... I might have to. That may actually be what I need to do. Okay, just push that push that along all the way to the to the back. Well, actually, wait. What would I- what would I do about this one down here, though? Unless... Like... Okay, that could work. Oh, maybe that- maybe that could be the last one. That could probably be the last one. Okay, well- well then... In that case, I can't push it up here, then. Because then it's gonna get stuck, and I can't push it back down. Oh, wait. One other thing that I could do alternatively is this. Yeah, that works. That seems to work well enough, but, like, maybe I need to, like, push it up? Oh, yeah, maybe maybe I could actually do that, because then I think... Then I think I can just place the rest of them in like that, and then I can leave. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's simple enough. I think I have to put one yellow box in, and then I have to push the blue box back up again, just, like, one square, or, like, one tile on the grid, and then I can just align all the other ones, and then I can just... I can just eat them up. I guess that's why this... this world is called Eat. You're making the boxes eat one another now, which is disturbing to think about. Okay, what in the world am I gonna do about this here? I can't move it like that. Oh, which effectively means that I am fricked. Okay, wait. Hang on. Come back- well, I can come back from the other side, perhaps? No, oh, no, I actually can't. Um, oh, what if I did this? Push it up against the wall? And then I think... I could probably enter this and then put it on the- yeah, put it on the- on the switch like that. There we go. That seems good enough. Okay, that's four out of nine. What is this level down over here that has a cyan outline around it? I'd like to know what exactly that level is, because that seems daunting, to say the least, because it has a completely different outline color than any of the other levels, so I don't know what exactly that could entail. Okay, so uh, what are we doing here? Maybe move it over- over like this? I don't know, I feel like this is- it can't possibly be that simple. Oh no, it's not that simple. Because there's, uh, there's a block in the way right here. Okay, well in that case, how about... You push it down like that, and then move it. So that way I can push it onto the block, and then I can leave. There we go. Okay. I was able to solve that fairly quickly. I don't even know how many levels I've completed already. I did mention before that the game has, like, 350 levels. That has to be at least, like... I would say 30 of them by now. So I think we are actually getting close to compete to completing one tenth of the levels. Okay, what do we do? What do we do about this here? What are we gonna do about this? Because there's still again that block that's 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 like blocking the way here. The block that's blocking the way. 
incredible use of the English language. So I'm thinking that I probably have to do something similar to what I did in the last episode, or the last level, I should say. Oh wait, maybe... Hang on a second. I, I, I might see a solution to this. What if I were to put it like this? Maybe move it... Yeah, move it up against the rock, perhaps. Yeah, I think... I think that could work. That seems like it should work. Yeah, okay, that does actually work. Just like that. Okay, use the rock to my advantage then. Okay. Six out of nine. Uh, we could try... I, I don't think this level's even unlocked right now, actually. Yeah, I can't even enter it. Okay, we'll try this level next then. What is this? Oh god, this is... Mm. Okay, not a problem. Let me let me just let me just investigate my surroundings here. Okay, all four of these blocks actually need to go inside the blue one. How do I do that exactly? <laughs> the exit is located inside the green block, so I have to finish in there. So what if I were to I mean I can move along like this. I mean this could work for like one of the blocks. Oh no, it actually couldn't, because this is another turn. Okay, and I just realized as well that the green block needs to act as one of the, uh... It needs to hit one of the switches. Okay, yeah, it absolutely does, but like... Yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to get in there like that, though, because... I, I can only enter it from the left. Okay, so maybe I have to move these blocks down into... Into this, this little pit somehow? Probably? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Like, oh no, that's definitely what I have to do, because I think the, the green one needs to go all the way at top. Yeah, it needs to go all the way on top, so that way I can actually still enter it. There we go. Okay, okay. That was not that bad. <laughs> yeah, the green one needed to go all the way at the, the top switch so that I could actually still enter it in order to clear the level. Which seems pretty easy, actually, because if I'm just pushing it up against all the other boxes, it just moves the green one all the way to the top. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. There's still, like, two more levels that I need to complete, though, so I'm not done yet. Okay, well, I mean, I'm thinking that something not like that, actually, because that doesn't work. But this could, though. This could, if I just push it up against the, the block on the other side. There we go. Okay. And then what is this? Uh-oh. Wait, why are those spaced apart? Can I just look at this for a second? Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Uh... Okay, well, maybe this could work. And then... Uh... This corner... Wait, actually, hang on a second. What if I were to push this up a little further? And then... Actually, wait a minute. Oh no, that is literally what I had to do. Okay, never mind. <laughs> had to push it back down in, and then the other one could fit in. Okay. Okay, so the blue one is actually... Th this cyan one is activated. Okay, what level is this? What is this? Oh wait, this is not even a level. Oh no, it is. It is a level, but it's, uh... It's in an ASCII art style? Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is super weird. Oh, it's an ASCII level. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this, this two acts like a teleporter. And where's this gonna take me? Take me out to the two? Okay. So... I'm guessing that the the B probably has to go on the, 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 the underscore, if I had to guess, and I have to go on the equal sign. Am I correct about that? Am I correct in assuming that? Uh-oh, this is... It's not gonna work like that, because it's gonna get stuck. I think I am correct to assume that? I don't exactly know for sure. But there's gotta be some way that I can- I can push this through here. What if- okay, hang on, what if I go to the- If I- if I enter it from the other side... Yeah, because then I- I think I can push it down in... Onto here, and then... Is that it? Okay, wow. I can't believe I figured that out. Achievement unlocked. Side puzzle. Oh, okay. That was one of the side puzzles, apparently. Okay, is there another... Is there another one with a cyan outline here? It does not seem like there is, actually, in any of the... Any of the earlier, like, worlds here. Okay. God, that is... That is freaking bizarre, dude. Okay, well, anyway, I think I'm just gonna leave for now. I'm not even sure how I managed to, like... I'm not even sure how I figured out what exactly I was looking at. But yeah, I guess... I guess... The B stands for box, and P stands for Patrick, probably. 
Is that the name of the box that I'm controlling? Maybe that's the name of the main character as well. Okay, well, these side puzzles right here don't appear to be... They don't appear to have the same sort of ASCII art style as the other one that I just solved, but there's only five levels that I need to beat here in order to access the next uh, world. So, yeah, what exactly is going on here? This is called reference. Oh, no. Oh, I hate it already. Wait. Hang on a second. Okay, so I need to- I need to put this box- I need to- to shove one of these boxes into this, like, yeah, this, like, uh, mint-colored box. Yeah, because there's a switch inside. But I'm kind of thinking, like, do I put it in here? Oh, no, I'm not gonna be able to put it in like that, because- oh, wait a second. Oh! That's trippy as balls, and I love it. Wow, okay. Okay, you go inside the box again, you come out the other side, and then you can push it. Oh god, that's gonna... Oh yeah, that's that's gonna mess me up. That's gonna mess my brain up completely. I mean, case in point, it already is messing my brain up. Um, I can go inside that, but what if I were to d do this instead? It would come out there. Yes. D can I push it down? Oh, I can push it down into there. Oh, wait a second. I can, like, move it out of the way. Okay, well, there's only one switch that needs to be activated here, I just noticed. So... That's not gonna work like that, though. Yeah, because it's too close to the wall, that's why. Okay, well, what if I were to do... Something along the lines of this instead? Where if... Where, like, I can... I don't know, can I... Can I even place this blue box inside of the... Inside of the green one? There must be a way. There must be a way that I can do that. Oh, yeah, I might be able to do it like this, actually. Like, duh. Put it in here? Yeah, there we go. Like that. And then go... Go down like that. I think I can... There we go. I'm inside the green box, and then I can push this out right there, and then we can leave. There we go. Okay. Just warping time and space here in real time. Okay, this is an empty box with, like, just a little bar up here. Uh, I don't exactly know what that entails, but we can probably put this inside here. Oh, wait, we can turn this- we can turn around and do this? Oh, no, we can't. Seems like I have to use both of these boxes in order to, uh, in order to- to clear this one. But I can go right there. And I can come out here. Okay, but I need to- I need to bring this down somehow. Yeah, I can't just push this up and then- and then move it down. Because there's not enough- there's not enough space for that. Yeah, and it seems- it seems like if I just do this, then I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna end up getting it stuck. Well, I mean, I can do something like this, where I just end up entering this box. Yeah, but I can't- I can't push it around like this, though. I can't push it from this side. Oh, wait a second. Well, hang on, that just gave me an idea for something. That just gave me an idea for something. What if I were to put it like that, and then I can go up here, enter the box from here? Oh, no, I guess I can't, because it still pushes it up. Oh, why does that still push it up? Okay, well, hang on. Hang on. What about put it right there, and then... Because then I can probably... No, okay, it doesn't allow me to enter the box. No, I guess I really cannot enter the box that way. Because I guess I can I can really only enter it if I'm, like, like, if it's put up against the wall. Okay, well, what if I were to do this, then? Maybe what if I were to put this box inside the green one? I can move it up. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to move it back down, though. Okay, wait, what What if I were to do something like this? Okay, so maybe maybe I put the, the blue box inside the green one, or the teal one, I guess. So that way, when I exit the blue box, I wind up in the teal one. Yeah, because, I mean, it seems like that actually did work. That actually worked. Okay. I put the blue box in the teal box first. The empty one. And that seems to work, just as well. Okay. Uh, we'll try maybe these two next, in that case. Why is that purple? Uh, let's... Well, I mean, we can do that, but where where is that gonna get us exactly? Absolutely nowhere. Oh my god, how many boxes are there? Oh my... Why are there so many? Well, actually, wait, that one's already on a switch that's activated. Oh, and I need to finish in this one. Wait, is this gonna- is this gonna move all of the boxes over? I just realized. Well, well, no, because this is on a switch that's already activated. Okay, wait a second. What is going on here, exactly? What if I- that's already activated. 
Duh. And then... Yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to go back in, though. That's the only problem with that. The only problem with that plan. Okay, wait, so... I think I'm actually inside the purple one, technically. Yeah, I, th I think so. So what if I were to just move this? Yeah, what if I were to move that out of the way? Yeah, it, it's it's open here now. Oh god. Yeah, okay, we're actually in the land of infinity right now, dude. What is going on? Okay, so what if I were to... Okay, hang on a second. That, that did give me an idea for something, though. That did give me an idea for something. Okay, so... What if I were to then do this? Move, move all the other ones up now, probably? I don't know if that'll work. But I imagine it probably would. Okay, no, that does actually work. It does work. Okay. So I guess it was it was the purple one that I had to move out of the way so I could escape. Okay, what exactly am I going to exit out of here? Okay, we're inside the teal box it seems. Oh, oh, okay, so I can probably I can probably just move this around and it'll actually change where I come out of. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, wait. I see I see what's happening here. I see what's happening. Okay, what, what if I were to just move this up, like, one space? So I can try to, like, get out of here? Well, I could move this down... I could move it down like that, but... Oh, I can also move this along to... Well, actually, hang on a second. Maybe... What if I were to bring the yellow square into here? Yeah, I mean... It could work, but I... It's just that I don't know if the yellow square is supposed to go up there exactly i don't think it's supposed to but okay yep that's oh god yep that's gonna make me sick okay let's not do that anymore okay so i wonder if there is a possible way that i can somehow move this back downwards oh god hang on what if i were to bring this back in here yeah i mean it's the it's it's uh, the freaking this freaking block right here though this block right here is what what i feel is tripping me up here because i'm guessing that i have to move this i have to move this up here and then i can just move the the yellow the yellow box onto yeah that that little switch but this this other block right here is in the way that's the only problem and this is not gonna work because this is only you can only enter this green box from the left side yeah the only way i can move this green box is upwards and this blue box over here that's inside the green box this is already like it's already stuck to the to the top of the box anyway and i can't possibly push it downwards okay wait a second i figured something out here where i can actually move this box downwards now all of a sudden but the only issue is that I, the boxes are basically stuck anyway but yeah so i think the green box is actually just stuck to this right wall in the blue box here so there's no way that i can get it to like yeah escape out of this 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 southern exit right here as it were okay well i was able to push it down without removing the yellow block as well so actually wait a second maybe there's something i can do about this Oh, there is something I can do about this, because now I can put this into the entrance, and then I can push it back out. There we go. Yeah, that seems simple enough. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, so, I mean, I did have to push it down, but it was just like, I wasn't supposed to bring the... <laughs> wasn't supposed to take the yellow block out as well. I, I was supposed to leave it in there. Okay, well, this seems like a side puzzle as well. Oh, God. So, th the puzzle is just zooming in automatically, it seems. Because I'm not doing anything about this. It's just doing this on its own. Okay, I already solved 46 of the puzzles, actually. Okay, so that's that's more than one-tenth of the, of the game solved already. Um, t oh, God, this is a little disorienting, though, because I have to do this while the friggin' camera is zooming in automatically? Like, what, what do you do about this? Oh god, and it and it shifts as well whenever I move the whenever I move the blue box around. Oh dear god. Well, I mean, I can I can move it around like this though. That does work. All right. Well, you know what? I th I think I'm going to pass on this level just because that is way too disorienting for my liking. Oh, I just closed the game accidentally. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to click on return to hub, not quit game up. Oh, okay, hang on. Hang on. No, I don't want to update right now, Steam. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. That was my fault. I, I, I forgot that in order to, uh... Yeah, like, either return to hub or return to title. I forgot that quit game actually quits the game. Okay, this is called swap, and apparently... I only need to beat one level 
in order to go on to the next world? I mean, let's see what this is about. What exactly is this? Swap? Okay, why, why exactly do I only need to, to clear one? Okay, well, we can make another paradox here. There we go. That's clearly not what we're supposed to do, though. But it seems like this is another level where we can definitely make a paradox. Um, oh. Wait, there's two switches. But how exactly are we gonna... Whoa, hang on a minute. If there's two switches, what are we gonna use to activate the other, the other switch? Is it the green box? Hang on, what if I push this through somehow? Okay, yeah, it just it just goes in the other way. Well, hang on a second. We could potentially do something like this. Oh, okay, but the only problem is that I can't get in because now the green box is actually blocking the way. Uh, what did I just do here? What the frick is this? Achievement unlocked cycle. All right, well... We're just, just crapping out green boxes now. It's just the same boxes over and over. Good god, man. This is... I, I will say this. This is definitely one of the more unique puzzle games that I have played on my channel in a while. I will at least say that, because, oh my god, man. This is... This is some genuinely trippy stuff. Like, holy crap. I'm honestly... I'm honestly just kind of blown away by this. Okay, here's... Here's what I'm gonna try and do instead. What if I were to, yeah, do do something like that, and then maybe push it upwards like this? Oh no, that just creates another, like, endless cycle. No, wait a second, wait a second. I may have... Have I figured something out here? What if I move this out? Oh god, yeah, that actually creates another copy of this same... This same cube. Okay, and then it creates another infinity. Um... But how am I gonna push you over to the other side, though. I don't actually know. I don't feel like I can. Actually, can I go- can I go back out? Oh no, this is- this is just creating multiple copies of me. Yeah, but how would I- how would I push it over to the other side? Unless maybe- maybe I wasn't actually supposed to- to push it into that- into that specific square, like, immediately. Like, hang on a sec. Maybe I'm not immediately supposed to push it into that square, because maybe- Bring this out here. Yeah, there's two copies. Maybe I push the green square in first. Well, no, that can't possibly be it either. Well, maybe it is. Well, maybe it is it. Actually, hang on. Because I can still move this outwards. I can move it out like... Oh, wait. Actually, no. This this is what I'm supposed to do. Because this just creates another another version of this. Okay. God, that is, that is probably the trippiest level I've come across so far. Oh my god, man. Was that- was that the only level? Okay, yeah, I guess that was the only level that I completed. I thought I was gonna complete the other one in the same sequence. Okay, you know what? Okay, don't- don't- don't quit this time, because that just quits the entire game. I guess I can already move on to the next- to the next level here. Yeah, it's center. Or the next world. Okay, well, you know what I think I'm gonna do for now? I feel like I have been playing for quite some time. I think I'm actually going to end the video here. Yeah. I think- I think I am going to, because it says I already sell 47 levels. I feel like that's- that's more than enough. Uh, wait, custom levels recurse? Wait, no custom levels found. For setup instructions, see this webpage or the game's files. Wait, is it possible to create custom levels in this game as well? Well, I don't know. I- I don't know if the game actually has, like, official support for that yet. Okay, well, I guess uh, apparently you can create your own custom levels, but I guess- I- I don't know if the game has Steam Workshop support yet. What are bonus features? Change visual representation, change color, slow motion times 10? Random music, random puzzle? Or random puzzle orientation and colors? Unlock all puzzles? Oh, you can also show the grid as well. Okay. Enter speed. Allow rapid inputs, repeat input delay, and instant camera zoom. Okay, so I guess there's like, there there is some, like, accessibility options here as well. Okay, but what I think I'm gonna do for now is that I'm gonna return to the title screen here. Oh, that's interesting. It also saves, like, a, a little snapshot of where, of where exactly you are when you go back to the title screen. Okay, that's a, that's a really neat feature as well. That's a really nice touch. Yeah, but I think this is where I'm actually going to leave the video for now because I feel like, uh, I, I feel like I've seen enough for now. That was Patrick's Parabox and... 
that that definitely exceeded my expectations because I really didn't know what to expect from this at all. It definitely surprised me. I mean, I, I don't know what else I was expecting from a game based around the concept of infinity. But yeah, you can insert boxes into other boxes, you can insert yourself into other boxes, and you can effectively create clones of yourself as well. It's almost like you're making time paradoxes in some levels. And some of the levels just straight up allow you to create paradoxes. Like, you can just push a box out of another box, and you, you get stuck in an infinite loop, it seems. You just completely destroy the very fabric of space-time itself, and you just wind up in an endless void. Yeah, that was pretty wild. This is definitely unlike any other Sokoban puzzler that I have played so far. It's definitely unique, and I can see why this would have garnered a lot of attention so quickly. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if this was one of the more anticipated indie game releases, because I already knew going into this that this game had already won some industry awards, like, long before it even released. Like, even as far back as 2019, this game was already winning industry awards, despite the fact that it was still very early in development. And I mean, I thought that it had already been released by this point, but apparently it only came out like four days ago. Yeah, so it was definitely a long time leading up to this game's release, and I wasn't really keeping tabs on this game's development either, because I mean, I have known about Patrick's Parabox for a pretty long time. I completely forgot that this game was even being made, though. Like, I was not keeping up with this game's development at all. And at some point in time, I just completely forgot that it even existed. But when I finally started hearing about the game again, I thought to myself, okay, wh why is everyone suddenly talking about this game again? And it turns out, it's because the game only came out a few days ago. And I was like, oh, this game finally got released now. Well, I kind of like to go and play it. It does seem like the reviews for the game are surprisingly good. But yeah, this definitely surpassed my expectations for sure. This is by far one of the most unique Sokoban puzzlers that I have covered on the channel. It's not just a matter of pushing boxes around this time, sometimes you have to actually put the boxes inside one another, and then you have to put those boxes inside each other, and then all sorts of craziness begins to ensue after that, like, I, I still don't exactly know how to even describe this. But I guess if you're a fan of really trippy puzzle games that mess with your head in all sorts of creative ways, then... Yeah, I would definitely recommend giving Patrick's Parabox a try. It, it is one of the pricier indie games, like it is fairly expensive for an indie title of its kind. Because as I mentioned at the start of the video, this game does cost $20. That being said though, I did notice that there is a demo version available on the game's Steam page as well. So if you're still unsure about the game, you can actually try out a free demo if you want. But I didn't actually play the demo before recording this. I decided to just pick the game up immediately, and I mean, I'm definitely not regretting my purchase because, holy crap man, this is one of the better puzzle games that I have covered on my channel within the past couple of years. Like, I can already see this game becoming a contender for possibly one of the best indie games of 2022. And it seems like a lot of people already believe that it is, because I mean, 99% user reviews can't be wrong. But yeah, that was pretty great overall. I was not expecting expecting this level of insanity whatsoever, but I'm- I'm glad I did. You just put boxes inside of boxes, and then you could put more boxes in the boxes, and then you make clones of yourself inside the box, and then you leave the box, and you- you find out that you're actually still inside the box, despite the fact that you literally left the box like two seconds ago. And I guess in some levels, you even have boxes that are contained within themselves? Because I'm guessing that's what that swap level was supposed to be, or one of the- one of the levels in the swap swap level was meant to be. Because I'm pretty sure we were still inside that green box, but then we somehow managed to pull another copy of the green box out that we then stored inside the green box. We somehow managed to create a copy of the green box that was being stored within itself, and the copy of that box also contained another copy of the same box, so effectively we created like infinite copies of the same box that are all stored within itself. And my brain just freaking hurts right now, and I think I'm gonna go lie down and rest. I'm- I'm done. 
this this game broke me, dude. It completely broke my damn brain. But yeah, if you want to go and try this game out for yourself, the link's in the description, either if you want to purchase the game or if you want to play the demo if you're still on the fence about it. But this is definitely one of the better puzzle games that I have played so far. I would even go as far as to say that this is probably one of the best indie puzzlers to come out so far this year. I still feel like I need to try and play the game a little bit more before I can truly say that this is one of my most favorite indie titles of 2022, or one of my most favorite indie releases, rather. What I've played so far is pretty damn clever, so I mean, I would still give it a recommendation regardless. So yeah, I don't really have anything more to say, just if you're into Sokoban puzzlers, but you're looking for something, uh, a Sokoban puzzler that's a bit more unique and actually tries something a little different, then yeah, you owe it to yourself to give Patrick's Parabox a try. Get ready to have your brain melted in all sorts of ways that you didn't even think were possible, but just be warned that you may never fully recover from the experience. So, there you go. I have nothing more to say, so I'm just gonna end the video. I'm just glad that the game finally came out, so... Yeah, the, the three years was well worth the wait, man. It was well worth the wait for Patrick's Parabox, because this is already, like, one of the coolest and also one of the weirdest puzzle games I've played, and I'm I'm loving it so far, so... I know it's another Sokoban puzzler, but it's a it's a really damn good one, okay? It's, it's up there with Baba Is You, for sure, which I personally think is a pretty high compliment to give, so... Yeah, there we go. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will indeed see you in the next video I make. Later.